Hey boys and girls, since I didn't get to be with you at school this week, I thought I would read a story every day and share it with you and so you can read it with me too. And when I'm finished, I might ask you some questions about it just like we do at school, okay? So this is the first story I wanted to read and if you look at the cover, it doesn't really look like a Christmas story, does it? And really, it, it's not with all of my Christmas books. This is a book from my house called Send It. Send It. But I wanted to read it to you because I got to thinking a lot of you or your parents might be sending some things in the mail right now. And we have one parent in our class, Gabriel's parent, who works um, as a mail delivery person. And I think she's very busy right now. People who deliver mail and packages are having to work really, really hard right now because at Christmas time, a lot of people send Christmas cards and packages. And so that's why I wanted to read this story to you today. It's called Send It and it's by Dawn Carter. Now Dawn Carter is the author of this book and he's the illustrator. So he wrote the words and he drew the picture. Let's see if we can find out what's gonna happen. Send it. Now I know I said this book doesn't happen at Christmas, but look in the background outside the window. It looks like it could be close to Christmas time where this person lives, or it just could be winter. And why do you think I know that? That's right, it's because there's snow on the ground in the background. That lets me know that it's winter time. Maybe it's near Christmas time. It says Monday. Let me see if you can see that. Monday. Wrap it, tape it, address it. When you put the address on it, you're telling where you want your package to go. You're telling the mail delivery person, the mail carrier, where you want your package to go to. So you have to know the address of who you're sending it to. Send it. Hmm, where do you think this person is right now? He put the address on it, he wrapped it up. Hmm, where do you take things when you want them to be sent somewhere? Did you say the post office? That's where they go. On the back cover of this book, you'll see the blue mailbox where you can um, slide your letters in at the post office. Okay, truck it. Now it's going on the mail truck. Okay, now it's Tuesday. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Lift it, balance it, don't drop it. Hmm, I think that this package is going far away because look where it's being put. What is it gonna happen? What is happening to the package right now? It's being put on a boat. This package is not just going down the street, is it? It's going a long way away. Ship it. Whoa. Okay, it's Wednesday. Unload it, push it, careful with it. Did you notice there's no snow at this place? Where the boy mailed it from, it was snowing and now there's no snow. Thursday, move it, stack it, don't lose it. Fly it. Friday, choo-choo it, choo-choo it. So what is this? A train. That's what says choo-choo. Saturday. Drive it. Carry it. Deliver it. Oh, here's the mail carrier delivering the package. The boy who deliver who okay, the boy who made the package and wrote the address on the package and sent it was wearing a, a hat and mittens and a toboggan. But look at the boy who's receiving the package. He has on short sleeves and shorts. It was wintry weather when the package was sent.
but the place where it was sent to, if you look at the picture, must be really far away, and it does not have wintry weather. And we've talked about that before, how different places in the world have different kind of weather at the same time, don't they? Sunday, open it. Look at this picture, look at the clues, and see if you can infer what's happening at this in this picture. Why did the boy at the beginning of the story send a package to this boy? Look at the picture. You can use the clues to let you know. Go ahead and tell me. It's his birthday, that's right. And the very last page says, say thank you for it. He's calling his friend to tell him, thank you for sending the package. All right, let me see if you can answer a few questions about this story, if you listen really, really well. It didn't have a whole lot of words, did it? But it still told a story. What happened in this story? Did you say that a boy sent a package to his friend for his birthday? That's what happened in this story. That was the main idea. It followed the package. When you send a package far, far away, it followed the package and everything that has to happen for the mail carriers to get it from one place to the other. Why did the boy send a package to his friend? because it was his birthday. Now, think about right now. Why are people sending lots of mail right now where we live? Because it's Christmas. You might send a Christmas card. You might send a present in a box, just like this boy did in the story. Your mom and dad or your adult that's at your house might be ordering things from companies and it's getting brought to your house by the mail and they might say to you, don't open the boxes because it's a surprise for somebody. Lots of people are sending things right now. I hope you liked this story. If you liked this story, you could draw a picture of your favorite part and then get your adult to take a, pi a picture of your picture that you drew and you can share it with us on our messenger system because I would like to see what your favorite part was. And stay tuned tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna read another story. At school, it was supposed to be Snowman Day tomorrow and I don't have a Frosted the Snowman book, but I do have this book. This is my nephew Carter's favorite book. Some of you have seen Carter at the end of the day when he rides home with me and it's called Bad Kitty Does Not Like Snow. And look, there's a snowman on the front. So we're gonna read this story tomorrow, okay? All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.